Hello, hello, and welcome. Welcome back for another edition of iPhone Friday. Bill Skladowski here from the blog of the same name, uh, where we help folks with their high-tech life. I hope you're doing well today, staying safe, keeping those hands washed, all the things that you need to do there to uh, stay safe and sane in an otherwise crazy world. So, if you were uh, looking at the post from the other night, or if you just noticed the uh, title of the video today, it's all about fun with long press. What is long press, you're asking, Bill? Well, I'm so glad you asked. We're going to dig into that. But basically, if you have an iPhone, and of course, if you're watching this, you have an iPhone, the long press is where you basically just lay your finger on a button for a few seconds, and it's literally less than three seconds. So, you know, normally you would tap an icon, a button to start something and to get it going. And uh, that's all, you know, literally tap and off you go. And then long press is just to, honestly, it's this simple, but I, I see people try to overthink it and all that, where you literally lay your finger on the button for a, a, literally two to three seconds. That's all it takes. Now, in the old days, <laughs> old days with iPhones, right? That means six months ago, nine months ago. They had a different um, technique for that or a different, uh, the way the hardware worked. And they called it a force press or a 3D touch, which meant you actually kind of had to exert a little pressure on the screen and you could hear it or it would make a noise and then something would happen. Well, they're doing away for that doing away with that for reasons that I don't understand. Um, they don't call me, go figure. But what is happening is they are replacing it with this long press. So I think it's just a little easier. Honestly, I think the long press is just a little bit easier to do than to try to, you know, how hard do I have to push on it? And when I taught classes, you know, as I would teach iPhone classes to folks, I would see people struggling with that, you know, push, don't push, tap, don't tap, push, let, what, so anyway, two ways to open things, and uh, the one is just to tap, and the other one is the long press, so, by the way, if you'd like to read more about that, or see more about that, stick around to the end of the video, because I've got a special offer for you, if you'd like this, uh, today's lesson uh, on paper, so, uh, by the way, before I get off that tap versus press thing, I, I did want to say that I, I was with a client uh, recently, this week, um, older lady, perfect, perfect manicure, right? You know, with the longer fingernails and I don't know, some, you know, fabulous, probably very expensive color. <laughs> I don't know. And, and as she would try to tap on something, it was her fingernail that was hitting the button on the phone and she's wondering why nothing happens. Well, if you didn't know, you do now, that the phone screen actually responds to your skin, to the, to the con conductivity, I wanna make sure I say that right, the electrical conductivity of your skin. And so, like if I were to take a, a, my, my, my Sharpie here and I was to try to push a button with a, with a Sharpie, well, nothing happens because there's, that's plastic, and the, it doesn't know what to do with plastic. But if I were to just tap on, like, the settings button here with my finger, well, it opens right up, doesn't it? So it has to be the pad of your finger. Now, I will say, do I have one? I don't think I do. I didn't, I didn't come prepared today. That some, that you can buy a pen or a pencil. Oh, I thought I had one in my pen cup over there, but I don't. They do make... Uh, pens now that the tip of it where normally like if it was a pencil the eraser would be but it's a it's a rubbery thing that has that same conductivity as your finger so it's a stylus and if you're not good with your finger for aiming at things you can get a stylus and tap on something with the stylus and that uh, I'm not here to sell you a stylus but you can find them on Amazon or you know anywhere else if you'd like all right so let's dig in and let's talk about long press okay so Let's get rid of this and head over to the phone. And uh, now with long press, there are a lot 
of the apps on your phone, especially the Apple built-in ones, the ones that come pre-installed when you get the iPhone, when you buy the iPhone, that feature some sort of additional, and let's use the fancy word, functionality when you long press on the app icon. Now, normally, right, if I were to just, so up there on the top, you know, there's my clock, right? If I just tap on the clock icon, well, it opens the clock and I just happen to be set. I was, you know, had my alarms or whatever there, or you can set the clock or whatever you want to do, right? Same thing with, say, the camera. If I tap on the camera app, well, it opens up the camera and there we are, you know, you're seeing my studio set up, right? So we know that. I mean, that's the way it works. But, and yeah, but wait, there's more, like we used to say in the infomercials, right? But wait, there's more. Many of the built-in apps have other functions uh, um, built in when you do the long press thing. And I let me uh, let me find my list here. I tried to tried to bury it under my paperwork there. So <laughs> found my list of papers. The uh, several of the built-in iPhone apps, and also sometimes the third-party ones, other ones that you get from the App Store, have long press functions built into them. Now. This is by no means a complete list, okay? But I did want to go through some of the things with the Apple uh, built-in ones and to show you a little bit about it. So in no particular order, I just, starting at the top of my phone here, right? The the camera one, if I, now here, by the way, long press. What does long press mean? Here, I'm gonna show it to you. If I, let me get that close and I'm gonna just try and tap, right? If I tap on the camera or if I tap on the, 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 the clock there, boink, it opens right up, right? So that's a tap, easy. You know, I always say tap this icon, tap that menu, whatever. But if I lay my finger on it and just literally two or three seconds, thousand one, thousand two, look at that. It opens up another menu, okay? So you're going to see this. Try it on any app that you have on your phone. It doesn't matter. Try it. Uh, I'll tell you right now that the top three that I have there, the clock, the camera, the messages, the maps, the settings, uh, the notes, they are all built-in Apple apps, and they all have these additional features built into a menu that pops open when you long press on the app. So, clock, long press. Look at that. Right away, I can create a new alarm. I can start the stopwatch. I can start a timer. Super helpful if I'm in the kitchen, right? Uh, start the timer, and then all I have to do is tap on the other thing that I want, start the timer, and, you know, 15-minute timer. If I want to change it, I can change it to something else, obviously, but there you go. So that's the clock long press. And by the way, if you ever want to get out of that, just tap somewhere else or press the home button. I have I have an iPhone 8, so it has a home button. If you have a 10 or a, an SE or whatever, just use the little flick from the bottom. But no matter whether you have a newer one or an older one, just tap anywhere else, boop, and that menu will go away, okay? All right, let's move over to camera. Let's get going on this. Camera, long press, 1001, 1002, look at that. Take selfie, record video, take portrait, record slow-mo. Cool. Now, if you have one of the newer iPhones with the three cameras on the back, lucky you, uh, I think you get another option for a different, for a slow-mo selfie, I think. I, I don't, don't quote me on that. But again, if all I wanted to do was take a selfie, tap on take selfie, camera opens up, ah, and there we are, cool. All right, so that's clock camera. Messages is next, okay? If you were to tap on that, tap on hold, you would get additional you know, options for that. If you want to start a new message, if you wanted to, and now this is the most recent texts that I have sent. You know, my computer got, that's me. I just was a test before. You know, uh, my partner on there, start a new text, do something like that, okay? Same with notes. If I long press on notes, I get start a new note start a new checklist, take a photo, scan a document. Now, by the way, the photo and the scan document, super helpful. Um, I think we did a whole video about notes and using it to scan documents, but if we didn't, remind me of that, and maybe one of these days I'll, I'll do that as well. And up at the top is the most recent note that you have worked at. I was at the dentist the other day, and that's the receipt. I took a picture of it, so there you go. All right, so then you could start a new note, start a checklist, a photo, a document, etc. Moving right along. Now, this one, this one is very cool, and I didn't know about this one until I just started researching on this, and it's the Maps one, all right? I uh, get out of the car in a gigantic parking lot uh, for, uh, well, <laughs> it would have been a sporting event or maybe like a farmer's market or something like that if those things are still happening, right? 
but uh, in other words, but otherwise, I can long press on the map and look at the first one. Mark my location. How cool is that? So I get out of the car. I want to remember where I've parked. Long press on the map. Tap on mark my location. Walk away. When I'm ready to go back to the car, go back to maps, find the location, and it takes me right to it. Ooh. Or the second one down, send my location. So, I don't know, again, I'm at the farmer's market that goes on for miles and miles or something like that, and there's a friend of mine trying to find me. I can send my location using the map, and then it just sends it as a text message to your friend. Very helpful. Okay, uh, that's it for the homepage here. Oh, there, it's not it for the homepage. Uh, down at the bottom, I have my phone and I have the uh, calendar. Same thing, even with the phone. If I lean on the phone, all right, there's the most recent people I've talked to and my favorites down at the bottom. I can see my most recent voicemail. I can create a new contact or search for a contact, all with a long press. And then with the calendar, it shows me my next upcoming event, all right? And then also allows me to add events right from there as well. So if I wanted to add a new event to my calendar, you know, don't forget to, uh, I don't know, take the dog to the vet for next week or something. Just tap add event and then it lets me start creating a brand new event. Awesome, right? All right, so a couple of others. Uh, go back to the next page. Reminders, super helpful. Tap and hold on reminders. Obviously, it's gonna let you create a new reminder for your inbox or, you know. Now those, if you were here for our reminders video a couple of weeks ago, you know I created, oops, you know I created a grocery list reminder and uh, a couple of other ones as well. So those are lists a list of groceries or the list of 20 foods to help you lose, but you know, that kind of thing. That's an article I copied. And then my most, or not my most recent, but any upcoming reminders that I need to be reminded of, you guessed it, would be up there at the top. Okay. So again, that's reminders now. And then uh, last but not least is photos. Okay. And if I long press on photos, all right, I'm going to get some albums that the Apple Photo app has put together for me, right? So, um, you know, if I took a lot of photos on a vacation or at the beach or something last week, uh, you know, uh, the if you've seen it, if you've noticed it, Apple's Photo app will group those together into an album, and then you can either give it a name, or if you do it yourself, you can do it yourself as well. And the Photo uh, app, when you long press on it, will show you some of the albums that you have created or that have been created for you. Very cool. All right, so uh, remember, that's just the apps that came built in, and there's more, but those are just the ones that come built in with your iPhone. Uh, if you, oh, settings, by the way. I didn't, did I do settings? I don't think I did. If I long press on settings, I get some of the more popular settings that I can usually use. Uh, turn in the Bluetooth on or off if you have like earbuds or something, or in your car, uh, if you use Bluetooth in the car turning the Wi-Fi on or off, checking the battery, that sort of a thing, okay? Now, last but not least, you'll notice, if you've been paying close attention, and I know you have, that on all of these, okay, if I long press on all of them, every one of those menus down at the bottom is going to have Edit Home Screen as one of the options on the menu. So there's the settings. If I go to the clock, edit home screen at the bottom. If I go to camera, there's edit home screen on the bottom of that one. If I go to notes, there's edit home screen down on the bottom of that one. Okay. That's where you can rearrange the apps. <laughs> you like that? Rearrange the apps on your, on your screen. So if I wanted to, right, long press, wait for it to come up, tap on edit home screen. And now you've probably seen this before where everything just does its little shimmy shimmy kind of a dance there. All right. So this lets you do two things. If you want to delete an app, you would tap on the X up in the upper left corner of that app. But Bill, some of them don't have Xs, the clock and the camera. Yeah, that's right. They come built into the phone. You can't delete them. Sorry, they're, they're baked in, uh, to use the term, all right? But you can move them around. So if I wanted to move something while everybody's in its little, you know, shimmying state there, right? Tap, press, edit home screen, and you can do that on any app. It doesn't matter which one you do to start the process. And then I can just press and hold my finger on it again, kind of like the long press. And you'll notice when I do, it gets ever so slightly bigger. Look at the messages app up there in the corner. Boop, just a, I mean, just a hair's breadth bigger. But then I can click and I can drag it around and move it and everybody else will get out of the way. 
I want to put it back up there. I want to move it into the middle. Everybody gets out of the way. All right. And then I can drag it to other pages too. That's another class for another day. But that's how you move things around on screen. Oh, no, I don't want to create a, oh, it's going to make me create a thing. Nope, oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Thought it was going to create a folder. We did that in a previous class, I remember. All right, and then when you're done, when you have it the way you like it, and I'll go back and fix this later because I like it the other way, just press the home button and everybody stops. It's like when the music stops, everybody <laughs> finds a seat, except nobody gets thrown off the island here. So there you go. Some of the other apps that you will download from other companies, like I have Uber on there, right? If I long press on Uber, all right, well, there you go. Go online, share, edit home screen. Not too many options with that one. Uh, let's see, I've got uh, a, pa a podcast one. If I press and hold on podcast, there's all the recent podcasts I was listening to or, or whatever. So again, it works with a lot of the Apple built-in apps, the ones that come baked in with your iPhone, the calendar and the phone and the messages and the settings and just a whole bunch of them. But it also works on some of the others. So just kind of keep your eyes open uh, to see what, you know, just try it. I mean, what's the worst that happens? Nothing happens. So there you go. All right, that's going to do it for today. If you would like, let's uh, move over here. If you would like today's handout, all right, I have already prepared it. I spent last night slaving over a hot computer, and that's it. Oh, other way. <laughs> I always have to remember with the camera. Other way. If you would like to get the handout of this iPhone Friday class, Fun with Long Press, you can uh, do one of two things. You can just drop me a comment at the bottom of the uh, screen here, and I will send it to you. The better thing to do is to head over to the blog and been working on that really hard too. So if you go to the blog right now, BillSkolodowski.com, like it says, uh, you'll find right at the top of the page a, a button that you push to uh, sign up so you get every one. So here's how this is gonna work. And I, I think you're gonna like it. Uh, what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do, is that as I do an iPhone Friday every Friday, obviously, uh, we're gonna have a new handout, you know, a new, a new spiffy handout for you to, uh, you know, download and you can print it if you like or you can just look at it on your computer, whatever. And then as you do, let's switch back to the main screen here. As you do that, if you go to the blog and you sign up, you're gonna get every one of those. So every weekend, I'm gonna go back and, you know, send out, if you missed the video, no worries. You'll be able to see it on the blog for starters or on YouTube or here on Facebook if you want to find it. It's going to be a lot of places. Probably the easiest thing since you've been to the blog is going to be on the blog. But you're going to get the handouts sent to you automatically uh, every weekend so you don't miss anything. It's kind of like, you know, when you get your uh, coffee on Amazon auto ship, you know, so your coffee just shows up every month, <laughs> right? I know it does in our house. So head over to the blog, BillSklodowski.com. There's the address down there. And uh, sign yourself up. There's just a button right on the front page, and you'll get an email that'll say congratulations and all that. And along with that, I will also send you a copy of the other handout that I've talked about many times, which is, um, it's like 15 now. It's up to like 15 really cool and fun tips and tricks to do with Siri, all right? And I've talked about it a lot, and it's out there, and it's fun, and a lot of people enjoy that. So anyway, go to the blog, BillSklodowski.com, sign yourself up. You'll get every tip sheet that I put together every week, along with a reminder in case you missed it. Hey, this week you missed Fun with Long Press. Here's the handout. Come watch the video. And then when we start doing more of What's New Wednesdays, I'll also have a reminder of that. Now, I don't know that I'll have a handout for every What's New Wednesday, but I will have um, you know, a kind of a recap of what was covered. And then if you want to come back to the blog and watch the video, that'll be there too. Wow. <laughs> Lots going on out there, isn't there? I know. Well, anyway, that's going to do it for today. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, if you watched it live, I appreciate it. If you are watching this on the replay, cool. If you uh, think this would help a friend or associate, feel free to share it uh, with them and uh, spread around. And again, no matter whether you're watching it live or watching the replay, you can always just drop the comment. If you have questions, I read them all. Uh, one of my viewers mentioned something to me uh, this week about, gee, we could do a video about, I don't even remember it now. I'm going to have to get back to them. I took a note about it. I'll have a, I, there's so much to talk about with, you know, either what's new Wednesdays or iPhone Fridays. But if you have questions, 
If there's something you would like specifically covered, please, please, please just drop a note or, you know, jump on the blog and leave a comment there as well. And uh, I will check that out and maybe it will become our next iPhone Friday or What's New Wednesday. It's going to do it for today. Have yourself a great weekend. Take care out there. Stay safe. And we'll see you next week. Bye for now.